Skahoy RCP controllers are Ethernet-based devices, which means they can integrate seamlessly with various types of wireless equipment capable of transporting Ethernet packets. And one standout option is AB on Air, which has proven to work exceptionally well with our controllers. So if you're in search of a reliable wireless solution, this combination is the perfect match. And today we will explore how this wonderful duo works. This is AB on Air, the receiver unit. This is the transmitter unit sitting on top of a Blackmagic Design Pixis camera. So to just walk through this setup and how easy it is, we have the camera here, the SDI output into the AB on Air transmitter. We have an Ethernet jack as a LIMO connector going into the Ethernet jack of the camera. So this is where the transport of control signals happens, okay? And this is the video. Transport, control signals, video. Over here, wirelessly connected between these two, we have the, uh, the output which is going into an Ethernet switch. And we have the blue cable which is going into our monitor here so we can see the video signal and record it. So that's the basic setup. This RCP is connected to the same Ethernet switch as the receiver unit and the receiver unit and the transmitter just forms, bridges a network seamlessly. So I see the IP address of the camera straight from my RCP. And if you look at the UI of the RCP, this is the uh, UI straight out of the RCP Pro, you can see that there is an IP address here which is the IP address of the camera. And these two units are completely transparent to the RCP Pro, which is great. It's also very easy to set up. They find each other automatically, set the frequency and so on. So the AB on Air pair is a really quick and easy solution to, um, to use for creating a completely wireless setup like this one. It's battery powered over here. The AB on Air is battery powered and the camera as well. This one is powered from the um, electricity in the room. So that's pretty standard for a receiver station. Let's look at the control that we can do. Basically, using the joystick, you see that I'm able to adjust the iris of the lens, as we would expect. And that is, by the way, the classic, is it amazing, Skahoy RCP joystick with a display on top that will show you the actual iris value of the lens. And it also has the, the ring here so that we can, let, let's just do this a little more. So we can have the master black, the pedestal of the image adjusted. So that's the standard operation of the, um, the joystick on an RCP. We have a lot of other things we can do on this one. So let's uh, dive a little bit into those. If we are at the home screen here, we can set the white balance and this is a knob we can adjust. Now it's uh, doing that in some pretty coarse steps. We can also do it in a little finer adjustments here. We have uh, red, green and blue gains that we can adjust. So to just give you a quick taste for these adjustments, let's just move the knobs a little bit around. We can also adjust things like, what do I want to do? Some saturation, a parameter here, so I can turn it down all the way down to, to gray, basically, and also very uh, create a very saturated image here. All right, so that's basically how the RCP works. We have multiple menus that allow you to adjust these parameters. And there are plenty of videos from this location, from this studio, where we are walking through this because this solution would work with any other camera than this one that has an Ethernet jack in the other end. So this is just coincidental that this is the camera we're using today. Could be any other thing because it is transporting network signals, bridging network signals completely seamlessly to the control and the camera equipment in each end. Thanks for watching this video. Keep up with all our latest software and hardware updates by subscribing to this channel, join our newsletter, or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and X. And if you have any questions, our knowledgeable sales and support team is ready to assist you. And all the links and resources you need can be found in the video description below. Thanks for watching.